Hi everyone, this is Imran. Today in this video training, I'm gonna show you how you can easily create a product slider on your WooCommerce based e-commerce website using Elementor Page Builder and Oolenter Elementor add-on. Here goes the slider I'm gonna create during this video training. I'm gonna use Elementor Page Builder and Oolenter Elementor WooCommerce add-on and I will use the free one, I mean the free version, so you won't have to spend any money. So let's get to be started. Firstly, I'm going to click on this button and I'll provide the link of this website in the video description. Once you click on the link, you will be sent here. So what you will have to do, coming to this page, you will click on this button, free download, okay? And it will be downloaded very soon, okay? Once you have downloaded this plugin, just jump to the dashboard of your website. Here, I'm on the dashboard of my WordPress website and I'll install the add-on on my site. And friends, you can see I have already installed Elementor Page Builder and I have installed WooCommerce. So, I hope you can understand that you will have to install all of this already. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to navigate to plugins and click on add new. And here you can see upload plugin, click on it and choose file. As I have already downloaded it, I'm going to select this one and click on open. And hit this install now button. Okay. The add-on has been installed. Now click this button to activate. Well friends, by now we could successfully install the Oolenter plugin or add-on of Elementor Page Builder. Here you can see a new menu called Oolenter. And if I scroll and here you can see settings, template library and extension. Okay. So click on settings. You will see all the settings options here. And these are very easy. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to navigate to pages and check all the pages. And here goes my home page and font page that you can see. Here is the home page. And I would like to display the slider here. Okay. So what I'm going to do, click here on this button edit with Elementor or you can also go to just edit and you will see this button edit with Elementor okay just click on it okay very nice so what I'm going to do from here, I'm going to click on this plus sign to add a new section. Just click on it and the option here you can see, just click on the plus sign and I'm going to create a one column row. Just click on it and here you can see a new one column row. So if I click on the plus sign, here you can see on the left all the available widgets. So I'm going to close this on, close this on, close this on until I see Oolenter add-ons. Okay, here you can see Oolenter add-ons. Or if you know the add-on you are going to use, you can search from here. Here you can see search widget. But at once you can see the lots of add-ons available under WooCommerce add-ons widgets. Okay. So I'm going to use this one in universal product layout. Okay. So you can directly search here universal product layout. Okay. So just click over here and drag and drop here. Okay, friends. Instantly, you can see a nice slider. And universal product layout, three setting options, content, layout, and advanced. And under content, you can see layout setting, query setting, content setting, action button settings, 
image settings and countdown settings don't worry all the setting options are pretty easy as you have working experience with elementor page builder i must say you will find everything pretty easy so let's start with layout settings just click on here and here you can see the layout the default one as we are gonna build a slider so what i'm gonna do just click over here and we have got three options slider tab and default i'm gonna choose slider okay once you have selected slider is now a slider but here you can see it doesn't move okay it will definitely move i'm done with layout settings now let's move on to query settings here you can see filter by what type of products would you like to display on your slider recent products featured products best selling products sale products top rated products etc so i'm gonna display recent products and here you can see product limits it shows only three items that's why it doesn't move on so i'm gonna uh, put the value 20. now here you can see it's a slider pretty fantastic okay friends uh, here you can see product categories you can also display recent products from any specific categories you know you don't i believe you know about the product categories uh, say for example it is face cream it is anti-aging cream so these are the category of the products so here if you click on the plus sign you will see all the available categories of your woocommerce site if you want to display only the face cream or paste masks then these types of products will be displayed here i would like to display all the products so i'm not going to add any category okay now here you can see custom order you can put the custom order just order by id name title random i think date will be better but as we are going to display the recent products so we don't need any custom order because we are gonna display the latest one first okay so and order by date and descending ascending okay just select all the setting options and get your personal experiment that will be fine okay so we are done with query settings let's move on to the content settings here you can see style style of the content here goes the style okay i'm gonna choose style 2 here you can see a bit different a uh, box shadow uh, okay let's see what was style on okay here it is and style 3 okay just select each of the setting options and decide which one looks better on your website i'm using astra theme you might use any kind of or any other wordpress theme so uh, in your scenario it might be different so just make your hands-on experiment selecting on by on well i'm happy with style 2 okay it's fine and if you don't like to display the title you can easily hide it but you must display the title of the product you can hide the price of the product you can hide the category you can hide category before border and hide rating well friends uh, at this moment uh, as i'm working on a demo site this product doesn't have any review or rating so it's not showing up and suppose it shows the rating and you can hide or display the rating that's fine so we are done with content settings let's move on to the action button settings what's the action button setting here you can see a button if i hover over here the tooltip add to cart it's the action button okay you can change the style of action button and you can do it with the free version of this plugin we live in the same city and uh, i just appreciate their efforts who just uh, created this add-on i just thank all of them all the team members okay i was here and show on normal and on hover so it will show up on 
power or hover okay just uh, normal okay show add to cart bar uh, text here you can see add to cart text instead of the button but the button looks awesome well friends that's all about action button setting let's see image settings image is single here you can see only one image but you can display slider inside slider if you choose slider then each and every image or product can display in a slider if you have say for example here you can see i can display all the product image okay so if you have a gallery of your product image then you can display all the image so in that case you can so uh, select gallery tab and i have only one image so that's why it's showing on and when you will have multiple images it will show like this show like this okay that's all fantastic and you can change the border color here you can see it's a bit yellow but you can according to the color of your theme you can change fine and countdown setting you can show the countdown as my site don't have countdown and slider option okay friends this section is pretty important so uh, just be serious here you can see i have three product but i can display four now it shows four it may show five here you can see five you can show six products but that looks clumsy four is better okay four images and you can hide this arrow but i don't suggest you to hide it okay you can hide the arrow you should display the arrow and pause on hover this slider might be paused when the visitor hover over it okay so slider autoplay yes autoplay that means it will automatically play and uh, autoplay speed here you can see it's playing automatically as you can see and autoplay animation speed all the settings you can just set yourself and here you can see uh, these options were for desktop screen but what about the tabloid screen mobile screen on the tabloid it will show only two items on the mobile screen it will show only one okay these are very quite good just keep this default settings leave this settings as it is well i'm done everything with this content just hit update now let's move on to a style under a style you will see the options to add padding okay i'm gonna add some padding on top 40 pixel on bottom 40 pixel okay and margin you can add border color you can add border box shadow okay and in the content area you can add background color say for example red okay this color and if you don't like you can click here to reset and product badges here you can see any product badge just come over here change the best color to green okay now click over here color will be green okay at this moment it doesn't have any best best background color will be red so okay it doesn't have the base just uh, i'm going to uh, move to the product category again you can change the category text color just uh, if you would like to make it green okay here you can see the color is green now okay hover color you can change it to red or pink here it is it's pink you can add margin okay i'm gonna add and what should i say on top 20 pixel okay 
and here you can see product title you can change the product title color okay everything pretty simple product writing action button you can change the action button color you can change the color and offer price countdown slider control slider control position here it is on the center because it is 50 percent if you can you can move to the bottom or bring it to the up and color here i'm gonna change the color to black okay and background color okay background color is changed lots of setting options okay that's all i have completed all of this go to the advance you can add margin etc anything okay so friends now i think i could show you how you can add slider i'm done i'm going to hit this update button i'm going to click here to see the preview i'm gonna scroll down and here is the slider okay that's fine okay without spending any money you can display a better slider on your website and make sure you have elementor page builder plugin installed on your site then install this add-on okay then you will find everything easy well friends that's all about this training you can share your ideas, thoughts with me through the comment section below of this video. I would love to see your opinion. And that's all. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Hope to see you in the next video.